Another test was then conducted to determine the impact of oil absorption on lane oil in a typical league bowling environment. We had 10 bowlers, you know, average 190 and above, men, women, so throwing it straight, hooking it, and they bowled like a league, three games. And all we did was tell them to write down where you're standing, where you're standing and every time you moved. The league simulation study was conducted on the same pair of lanes each day at the International Training and Research Center in Arlington, Texas. Each day, the bowlers would bowl three games and were provided balls drilled with the same layout. Also, the cover stocks of the balls were sanded at the start of the test with 2000 grit Abrilon. The same oil pattern also was used each day, except for day four, when the oil volume was reduced 20%. On day one, the bowlers were each given a ball with a high differential RG and a cover stock with fast oil absorption. Over the course of the three games, the average amount each bowler moved was 9.4 boards on the approach and 6.1 boards at the target. On day two, the bowlers were given slower oil absorbing reactive resin balls with lower differential RG values. The average bowler moved 5.8 boards on the approach and 3.9 boards at their targets on day two. On day three, the bowlers were given urethane balls and the test showed far less movement over the course of the three games, with the average bowler moving 2.5 boards on the approach and 2.3 at their targets. On day four, the bowlers used the same balls as they did on day two, but bowled on 20% less oil volume. The bowlers averaged 7.1 and 3.8 boards of moves on the approach and at their targets over the course of this session. Another interesting note from the study was that the scores bowled were significantly lower when the bowlers went from throwing fast oil absorbing high differential RG balls to medium oil absorbing lower differential RG balls, even though the amount of oil the balls removed from the lane were similar. But when the oil volume was reduced by 20%, and the bowlers used the medium oil absorbing lower differential RG balls, the scores increased back to the levels seen with the stronger balls. Not surprisingly, the scores with the urethane balls were much lower and the amount of oil removed from the lanes was also significantly less. The results of all of the tests on oil absorption show that we are at a critical time in the evolution of bowling ball technology and how it impacts the way in which the game is played now and into the future. We really set out on this path to create a, a measurement for oil absorption and have all the manufacturers measure it the same way so that we could then, you know, talk in, in like terms about it. Um, there are certainly some more technical docs and videos that the manufacturers have developed over the years that kind of explain uh, how the oil goes into the ball, but for us, it's about putting a measurement on it so everyone can understand it and then apply it to performance on the lane.